Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Um, I'm Lemuro. Uh, I'm Stray. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and I'm going to be running Dragon Age Inquisition for you guys right now. Um, but before I can get started, I need to know uh, what's the name? You absolutely do. And it was a bit war up until very close to the end there, but the name will be Spyro Like the Dragon. I feel like I need to take my awesome. jacket off for this. Yeah. And it'll make sense in just a second because. <laughs> Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. Nice little Spyro tattoo for those of you who may not be able to see it. All right, so Spyro it is. Uh, timer doesn't start immediately. It, typically, um, we would start the timer whenever we gain control of the character. So once all of these starting cutscenes are done, um, so we just have to sit through these. Enjoy the epic soundtrack in the meantime. Yeah. So, I mean... I'm just gonna talk about the game in general. It's the third installment of the franchise. It's cool. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> my my commentary. It is I was gonna say welcome That's to true. three AM commentary. That's <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. uh, we're, we're, we're a yeah, we're, we're on par. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're a bit tired, but it's it's fine. Uh, we'll make do. Yeah, it's okay. Alright, so time starts now. <laughs> oh, we have a flying coconut in the chat. Hello. Let's go, coconut. Um, so, basically, for this whole beginning section, the prologue, um, the fastest movement we can get whenever we're walking on flat ground or downwards, uh, it's jumping. Upwards, we just have to run normally right now. So it's not like the fastest, uh, but you know, we take what we can get. Here, I'm just gonna skip this. Uh, cutscene by quick saving before it and quick loading and it just conveniently spawns me on the other side of the trigger uh, yeah. very nice it's not like the biggest time save either but I mean still like five or six seconds that's something you take it yeah it's easy to execute so why not and then we just you know we know the bridge is gonna break so we just decide to jump ahead of time you know yeah, and um, in terms of combat as well, one of the fastest ways, at least for uh, the warrior that we're playing as right now, is to cancel uh, the attack uh, animations after your first swing. Because uh, typically it has like this whole uh, three attack combo and the last one is really slow. So we don't want the last one, we just want to keep spamming the first two. Uh, ideally just the first one, but either of the first two are fine. And in case you're wondering what that yellow circle is when he's ever he's in combat, that is because we cancel that animation with specifically the search functions. You'll see that yellow circle flip out every time we cancel one of those animations. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, we don't fight enemies. We don't we don't like fighting. It's not our style. It's slow. Yeah, it's slow. Unless it's forest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And most of these we can just ignore. Uh, we're headed straight to the the combat encounter that is required, which is just up this hill. Indeed. And uh, then we're finally going to meet the rest of our party as well. And uh, we're not going to see anyone else other than these <laughs> for the whole run. Uh, you know, typically there would be a lot of uh, party members that you can recruit throughout the game. Um, but uh, they're not relevant <laughs> for us, so... Indeed. This game is going to get uh, broken real fast. So be ready. Um, and if you're worried about spoilers, <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't be. It'll be fine. This way, down the bank. Unless you for some reason don't know who the last boss is, but you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll tell you when we get to that point anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it's like this boss has been like mean to death, so you probably know who he is. So yeah, again, just jumping, trying to get. Um, through this prologue as fast as possible. Um, I like to kind of like split, mentally at least, split this run up into two parts. Um, so the first part, uh, we're basically doing all of our prep. We're preparing for um, all of the action that's gonna happen in the second part. Um, so uh, we just have to finish the prologue and then after that we're gonna be like gathering materials uh, and you know, doing all of the preparing that we need to do and then uh, after that is when all of the action is going to start and we're actually going to finish the game. Yeah, because this game is an RPG after all. So we have all the classics with, you know, gathering materials, duping them with the classic Another duping win. glitches. 
It's got it all. Yeah. And technically there would be a way to skip the tutorial. But sadly it would... Well, it's not like it would soft lock us or anything. But we wouldn't be allowed to get an item that's going to be really important for later. And that would going to do to get one of our characters to be really OP. So that's the main thing. So while the Inquisitor is closing the rift there, I'm just going to swap to another character. Uh, so I can just be ready by the door and move forward towards uh, this dialogue that's happening here. And pray no enemies follow us. And they didn't, so this uh, dialogue uh, went through just fine. Yeah. Nice. We'll just call this one character one, and then character two and three. <laughs> doesn't matter. Oh no, Varric doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, yeah, doesn't but matter. Varric is the only name that you need to know. Well, yeah. and Spyro. And Spyro too, And Spyro, that's true. of course, of course. Uh, this is the reason that we're picking Warrior and Dragon Engine Position as well, is because of the charging bull ability. Uh, it's the fastest uh, of the classes. Technically, uh, you can get a rogue to be like even faster than that, but uh, the setup for that uh, takes longer than any percent does. So, yeah. you know, not worth it. <laughs> Classic case of sometimes you gotta go slow to go fast. Yep. Sometimes you, you gotta go like... Improvised, <laughs> <laughs> That's, you know, it's like, like the rogue is like the guy that prepared everything, and you said, "No, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run." All right. Uh, well, I didn't want that slow mo, but I guess I'll take it. Yeah. Also, as you noticed, the uh, third attack um, stuns enemies into the ground, which can also be annoying. So yeah, just better to avoid it uh, all the time. Um, so now we're coming up to the end of the prologue section, and um, here we're going to be fighting a pride demon. Um, the pride demon is a bit annoying because oh, <laughs> it oh. takes a while to kill. He's boring. Um, but, you know, we make do. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a lot of us cancelling our animation over and over and kind of just trying to fight it as fast as possible, but there is uh, there's only so much we can do. Yep. We don't have all of our abilities yet. I was going to say, that's a downside of uh, early game RPGs because we're still missing so many of the crucial things to go fast that there's only so much we can do and we're doing our best here. Yeah, plus it's like kind of a free or like four phase boss and you're like forced to go through these phases mm. because the yeah, boss becomes invincible. And yeah, so you have no choice but to just go with the flow. Uh, the boss also didn't move where I wanted it to. Normally, I'd like him to move back where I'm standing now, because then I can stun these demons when they spawn, and I can disrupt the rift. But since they were too close, yeah. they, they they will interrupt me instead. That's unfortunate. Um, but that that's the fastest way, because then you can actually um, kill them at the same time as you destroy the pride demon's shield. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's something I always try and go for. Uh, it's not guaranteed to happen. Um, it's nice when it does. So yeah, as you can see, a lot of the same things over and over here right now. Uh, so... I mean, I guess we can talk about uh, the evolution of this run. Um, this run has changed quite a bit a few years ago. It used to be like two hours, two hours, yeah, around two hours. Uh, and then one massive bitch was found by uh, Isaiah, right? What was Isaiah? Uh, Isala. Oh, Isala, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, which, you know, broke the game entirely. And you'll be seeing it very soon. Uh, it's very impressive and just allowed for a very I mean, creative way of routing the game, pretty much. Oh yeah, it, like it, it, it opened up the game to uh, many possibilities. Oh yeah. <laughs> indeed, 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 indeed. Uh, it's almost dead. Almost. It's so close. So close. Just a bit more. Yeah, it should be Please. fine. Nice. There we go. All right, just gonna. All right. Everyone's cheering. We're, we're one step closer Let's to go. going to bed. Let's go. Yeah. There's one person in the audience, and we love him. 
Uh, yeah, so we're done with the prologue. We're in Haven now. Uh, uh, well, uh, are we done with the prologue? I guess not. You have to go through all of this in Haven as well. But yeah, yeah. In my in my eyes, we're done with the prologue. <laughs> Technically speaking. We're getting closer to the first big glitch soon. But first, we've got to talk to boring people. We, we don't really care about because <laughs> they're boring and boring. I think they're they're fun in the in the game when you actually play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really casually, it's completely different. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, Which you should play this casual. It is quite the fun game. Yeah. Takes a while to complete though. Yes. When you when you play it normally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um. Yeah. Did I mention the thing about dialogue? No, you didn't. No. Okay. Yeah. So for in in this game, uh, and really in all of the Dragon Age games, the dialogue doesn't really matter. So you can just spam one throughout all of it, and. Uh, there are some specific ones, uh, like a dialogue earlier, um, I was just spamming three <laughs> on the keyboard to select the third dialogue option. Yeah. It's not like Coder, where you have to like learn by heart all of the dialogue options. <laughs> so it's God. like you learn like one, four, three, one, four, three, one, four, two. And it's, mm. it's you like, have like a notepad in front of you to yeah, remember every single one. Yeah. It's yeah. really like, it's part of the run, you know, it's really impressive. Yeah. Has yeah, there, there is just like a few here and there that really matter. It's you've shocked the chat. If you didn't expect that dialogue, doesn't, <laughs> that dialogue matter. doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter for our purposes. <laughs> That's it the matters thing, right? for yeah. Yeah. RP, and it actually matters for a lot of decisions around the game. Yeah, like if you play casually, you don't want to romance the other characters, it absolutely matters. The yeah. writers are crying right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's actually funny, because I think I remember one of the writers for Dragon Age um, mentioned something about seeing the Dragon Age speedrun and then being sad that they, that we don't see the cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> but this one is forced, though. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Introducing one. one of the great characters in the game, which is uh, the scout. I'm not oh, gonna yeah. call her that because we don't see her. I mean, we are like three, three times in the game, so you know. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get immortalized over our <laughs> deadpan faces. <laughs> Hey, now we um, got a war table. Yeah. So the the um, fad back when this game came out was to have like real time little missions within the game. Yeah, and uh, and Dragon Age Inquisition did that too. Uh, but thankfully, we can skip it using the clock on the computer. So we'll see that come into play uh, later. Yes, yes, yes. But for now, we sent out I forget which character, Cassandra, uh, on a fifteen minute, uh, supposedly yeah. fifteen minute job. Well, it's actually going to be clo close to fifteen minutes. But not really. Not really. Like, yeah. supposedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes, uh, if you want to play this casually, even if it's your first time, I'd advise just installing one mod which removes all the waiting times. Because it's just not worth it. It's it's just not fun. Alright. I didn't get the instant put away the storage thing, so uh, that means we're good to go without going back out to the main menu real quick. Say hi to the pig. Bye. <laughs> Bye to the pig. <laughs> Bye. All right. So here is uh, the thing that revolutionized the run, uh, the map glitch. So it turns out when you walk into a loading zone, a quick save and quick load, all of the map pins are available. Yep. You know, fun things. <laughs> okay, not every map pin, uh, but most of them are. So you can just go everywhere. And uh, we're going to Crestwood specifically to pick up a trigger that unlocks Skyhold for us. So, so now we can no longer travel back to Haven. Now it's only Skyhold. That's how the run went from two hours or something to less than 30 minutes. Yep. <laughs> because now we no longer need to walk around the maps and explore to get the map ins manually. Yes, so and, uh, just going to Crestwood for an unlock, uh, like a trigger unlock. And we're not and we're not seeing anything more of Crestwood really, because uh, now we're just leaving again immediately. Uh, no trigger, this, we're good to go. <laughs> yeah, this time we're going to Empress to Leon because we need some power and then we need some materials. Yeah, for for those who didn't play the game, uh, power is a currency you use to unlock areas. We only needed ten, which is well, I actually needed a little, I think a little bit less than ten, but yeah. And so we're gonna use. Another variant of the map glitch was the local map glitch to just go to pretty much the end of the map and unlock a keep and get 10 power because that's handy. Yeah, so you'll see that here as well. Uh, the only difference here is that I'm spamming space during 
while I'm loading in. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Selecting it can be hard sometimes. The controls are a bit uh, jank, <laughs> but uh, we got there. And so now we're at the end of Solid and Keep, and we're just going to go back here and, and claim it. And uh, this is the only keep that you can claim this way by just going to the end. The others are still locked if you ever travel to them this way. Thankfully, we only need one, so yeah, it works it, out it's perfectly. It's really handy that <laughs> this one exists. It's yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it wouldn't be like too slow to have to pick up something else either, but... Yeah, for sure. Just very convenient <laughs> that it's yeah. here. And now we're going to hunt for materials to dupe and uh, craft whatever we want to do. Because it's not an RPG without dupes. Exactly. <laughs> yep. So it's we only guy. need the one downstone, but we're going to... I mean, we need a lot more, but... Yeah, yeah, we're going to replicate yeah. it to infinity. Exactly. You know? So, yeah, we're headed back to Skyhold. Uh, we're going to pick up the last piece of material that we need, which is another war table mission. And as you can see, Skyhold is very dark. I it's, was going to uh, say, now you see the consequences of the map glitch. We're not supposed to have this, uh, and the game knows. Yeah. But thankfully, it did load the parts we need, so it works. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's going to look like this for the rest of the game. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is supposed to be like for cutscene purposes, mm -hmm. which is why most of it is destroyed, because that's how you find Skyhold the first time you arrive. Yep. All right, so here we're gathering this leather. Very important mission. And uh, change to system time. There we go. Oh, and look, they're done. Uh, wow. Magic. <laughs> they're going to pick up this as well. Real fast. Yeah. And then we're unlocking the Storm Coast. And uh, that's it. Now we don't need to see the war table ever again. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, they're really happy because we saw the time change. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Saw that I swapped out and changed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, so yeah, now we're just headed uh, down into the Undercroft, the, the crafting area in Skyhold. And uh, now we're going to do our duplication. So I'm going to stand in front of this. Uh, before we do anything, I'm going to move these to valuables. I'm going to head in here. Uh, I'm going to click sell all and then... Um, while I'm in this, I'm going to be spamming uh, space and left click while I'm hovering over sell all. And uh, that's conveniently just going to dupe everything for us. Yes. I do love that this works. Yeah, it's it's really handy. And um, it's one like the main reason why we play part of this run in old patch. Uh, because this has been patched in live. And now we're going to switch to current patch. So you do a different kind of duping. Um, I was quick saying in there, and I'm quitting the game right now, and we're swapping patches. Yeah, because right now we need some item that currently doesn't exist in the old patch, so we need to go to a newer patch where the item exists, because it's going to be very useful for us for the rest of this run. Yep. All right. So um, enjoy Windows for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, the, the first thing is uh, the EA app doesn't like this, so I have to shut it down, both that and like the background task, you know? And then um, I have to rename these folders. So yeah, that's uh, uh, the most thrilling part of the run, <laughs> I would say. A very creative renaming, I know, right? Speed tech. And just to confirm that this is the correct one, yes, it is. All right, let's launch it. Anything you want to say? Absolutely. <laughs> Don't forget, you, you may only have one or two people in the audience, but you do have thousands watching online at ESA Marathon 2, we have reached $24,000 over Woo! the over three days that we've made so far. And I just want to remind people of some of the amazing prizes that are available for, for donations. And don't forget, you can make smaller donations throughout the whole event and your donations cumulatively come together to get you towards some of our amazing grand prizes. For a minimum donation of $250, we have a custom ESA PS5. We have a Ooh. Tears of the Kingdom Switch. Ooh. And for a minimum donation of $100, we have a DualSense Edge PS5 controller. That's great. Maybe they're slightly too high. For $15, you can get your hands on art prints made specifically for ESA. 
Check them all out, ES, uh, prizes.esamarathon.com, and I'll pass it back to you. Thank you very much. We're currently praying. Oh, oh, we, oh, we got to servers. The servers. Oh, we I don't. I don't need to use my backup. Maybe, maybe. Oh, oh, that would be very nice. Yeah. Downside of current patch <laughs> is exactly this. We're relying on the servers right now because if we can't connect to the servers, we don't get the items we need. Pray so. to the EA gods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please. Hold on, let me look over here. Oh, we got the chest. The, we <gasps> got the here. The here. Yes. Here. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we were actually unable uh, to get this in practice because the EA servers were just unavailable. Yeah, one time it just didn't show up for like yeah. no reason, and then yeah. the other time the servers didn't work. So yeah, we actually got it live. Yeah. yeah. So this is the second type of duping with the story chest, which isn't here in old patch. So that's why we need to go to current patch two. Um, and we're going to do the Varric Amulet of Power, which is the first Amulet of Power we can get. Um, and uh, an Amulet of Power, basically, you consume it on a character and gives a skill point. And so we're going to have a Varric that's level 1, but with like dozens of skill points. It's going to get really broken real fast. Yeah, basically we're making Varric right now into a glass cannon, and boy, can he fire! <laughs> yeah, like a, like a big glass cannon. <laughs> yes. Very big. <laughs> I'm sure Varric would love to write some good tales about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure. All right, I, I think we're close to done to duping. Basically, I'm filling my inventory up with this. Um, um, why is your inventory showing 1,000? Because th that's the storage inventory, not oh, mine. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I was very confused Don't imagine. right now. <laughs> The right. nug. Sorry, I'm Zing. so excited. The nug. There we go. Oh, the nug. Let's go. I didn't have to uh, <laughs> use the backup. Woo. Woo. All right. So now I'm just going to uh, feed all of these to Varric. Uh, as, as mentioned, these give us ability points when equipped, and uh, then they get used up immediately. So yep. that's it. He has all of them. So now I'm just going to craft some specific armor. Um, superior prana armor. Yeah, in case you missed it at the start, as Lumer explained, we kind of split this run into two parts. We're still in the setup part, but yes. we're, we're about to get into the action. We're getting close. Yes. All of these armors have actually been, like, carefully, like, routed in by the community, so they should be the best we can get for our buck. Um, and they focus mostly on crit chance for Varric, which allows them to be even more broken. As if he wasn't powerful enough. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the, one of the things that makes him so broken is what we're crafting right now, which is uh, Bianca. Uh, Bianca is the, one of the only weapons in the game that can be uh, constantly upgraded, which makes it one of the best weapons in the game. Bianca is his default crossbow, by the way, in case yes. you're wondering. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Why, why would you ever swap that out? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Bianca's too powerful. <laughs> it's, it's literally the best weapon in the game. <laughs> All right, so yeah, now we're just applying all of these upgrades. Yep. A and that's that. So now we're headed to the Storm Coast. That's why we needed the power to unlock that, so we can just leave immediately. I feel a lot of love for Bianca. Nice. And mm -hmm. the Golden Nug. I'm just, I'm still so excited about yeah, the Nug being there. I, I, <laughs> yeah. It, Considering all of the <laughs> all of the trouble yeah. <laughs> I yeah, went yeah. through <laughs> during practice and stuff, I'm just really happy that it worked first try and it yeah. showed up. And I was like, ah, it's beautiful. Y you know, for the longest time, I thought this card didn't have arms because she always shows up with <laughs> the arms behind her back. And for the longest time, I was like, my model must be bugged. There must be something wrong. No, she just walks like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah. So, um, here we just used auto level on Varric to get all of the stuff that we want. And now I'm just going to grab some more specific abilities. I'm using every single one that's on my action bar. Yeah. Um, that's not what I wanted to go into. I wanted to go into this one. I want fallback plan. All right. And then uh, we're just equipping Varric with the armor. And that's that. Yeah. So now we're actually going to leave, and uh, that's it for the setup part yep. of the run. Now we go fast. Now, <laughs> now it gets good. Now it gets good, because we can go to the Altar of Mythal, which is um, basically the end of the game, but we can't actually fight the dragon that would be here, right? Um, but conveniently, it's on the same map uh, as the Arbor Wilds, so we can just go and, you know, 
finish that part and uh, yeah. then come back here again and fight the dragon. <laughs> yeah, if that pin wasn't on this map, um, the, the run would still be pretty long. Yep. You'd need to do multiple other maps. But no, no, just, you know, it's very handy. Also, you, yeah, just uh, tactical uh, teleport. Yeah, tactical teleport. If you're out of bounds uh, and you enter your tactical camera, the the camera will force you inbounds, and then um, when you click, it'll it'll just for try and force you back inbounds when where you've clicked. Yeah, and it's very very handy. useful. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna ruin it for everyone. If you notice any birds, uh, they're oh, flying. No, no, don't yes. do it. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, see. You oh, can't God. see. It. You can't see it now. <laughs> Yeah, you'll notice that some of the <laughs> AIT members will potentially start to die a lot because, again, glass cadence. We're getting towards the end game, which means that our characters are very under leveled with all the skipping that we've done to get this far. The health bars are going to disappear fast. Yes, yes, yes. Um, if something goes wrong, it will go very wrong. Yes. Thankfully, we do have <laughs> quick saving, quick loading in this game, so. As well as auto saves. Yeah. Uh, Bl bless them. Yeah, auto saves are fantastic. Mm. Yeah. And here we stop jumping after a certain I love point. This. <laughs> Otherwise, you just jump over the trigger and you don't yeah. progress. It, it's it's so dumb that you can just actually just jump over the trigger. Yeah, with like just a basic jump, like no, nothing special, just a basic jump lets you yeah. go over it. Yeah. Maybe they didn't have jumping in the game. All right, all right, guys, guys. Uh, focus <laughs> time. It's the hardest puzzle uh, in the game well, soon. I didn't mean to use that ability, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just got too excited about you talking about puzzles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> all right. All right, so uh, hardest puzzle in the game. Actually, though, because it's the only puzzle in the game. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, in the you, run. If you've played Pokemon, you've actually did this puzzle. Uh, I think mean, it was Pokemon Gold as well. Hey, you did it first try, let's yeah, go! Yeah, first try, let's go, let's go. <laughs> and Imagine if I'd failed it though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Somehow. <laughs> that's the only puzzle in the game. And, okay, you um, got this. And now, uh, we're actually gonna get to see how uh, powerful Varric is now. Yeah. And uh, why we use him so much. So, the Varric is the only thing that is useful. Uh, and so, we use Grappling Hook. We go in, we use Leaping Shot, we go back out, and usually because of the crit chance, the Leaping Shot goes off of cooldown uh, almost instantly. That oh. Yep. Well, you see. Like I said. <laughs> <laughs> it's not always that easy. <laughs> but thankfully, like, it would, it, the, the quick save is just outside here. So ideally, it should go something more like this. Yeah, you can see the enemies have skulls on them. They're really a lot more powerful than... Oh, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. You should not be fighting them yet. Like but you, here we you, are. You should be 25 levels higher at this point. Yeah. All right, well. Honestly, it's surprising that your allies haven't died yet. <laughs> yeah, I was going to yeah. say, they died real fast on the first fire, but... And, and now they're fine. Come on. But, because now they have practice, right? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, so... Fallback plan. It's Fallback fun. plan. It's a teleport ability. We're jumping down here to hit a trigger, and uh, <laughs> then we're going back up. <laughs> yep. Because uh, we don't want to be down there. Oh, um, by the way, uh, Solus greatly disapproves, so I'm sorry about that. It, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but. Yeah, it's okay. It's it's fine. It's fine. We don't like Solus. We don't need disapproval. <laughs> yeah. Not in this speed run now. All right. So fun glitch time. <laughs> Switch clipping. By switching between two characters while one is mid air and falling, uh, you go directly opposite its velocity. And uh, that lets you just, you know, go out of bounds. Yeah. <laughs> the, the downside, of course, is that you need two characters to be able to perform it. And um, two live characters. Like, yeah. if you're yeah. dead, you can't actually do it. All right. Well, we're in here. Which could be a danger here, because you're in combat and you have to practice switch coping. Yeah. Like, it, it, it has happened before that every other character has died by the time I've gotten up to this wall. Yeah. Um, which is kind of uh, not that convenient, um, but thankfully everything here is fine right now. So I'm just going to go up to this balcony and I'm going to wait until we're out of combat and I can see the save symbol pop up in the bottom right. There we go. And I'm going to load that save real quick. Just going to make sure that everything is fine and good to go. And then 
that was some a lag that I wasn't expecting. But here we go. Here's uh, my super switch clip, which is basically using the evade dash into it because it keeps the speed as well. Yeah, it just inverts the speed basically that you have. And uh, yeah. Oh. And, oh. Uh, but tactical teleport, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it still puts me inside, <laughs> even yeah. though even that though was I jumped Very far. weird. You didn't have that last time. Yeah, I had not seen you that far out before. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, yeah, there's a ton of different variations in how that switch clip can go, right? So it's like just knowing like where you are and where you need to be kind of deal. And uh, fallback land, there's no like distance limit. So he can just reactivate fallback land after killing Sam. Sam, Sam I, re I forget his name. Go and I didn't get stunned oh, this time. No oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, that's a good, good nice. time save, actually. Nice. nice, nice. Uh, for some reason, if you just damage Samson and then leave the arena and then come back, it just triggers the whole next sequence, so... Yeah. Uh, this is another part where dialogue matters. Uh, I'm just spamming three. Yeah, and we acquired certainty. And Solus um, disapproves sure again. Is, but uh, we did. I mean, is it surprising that Solus disapproves? <laughs> Not I feel like really. that happens uh, all the time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, now we're getting back into Skyhold and then we're gonna go um, and kill a dragon. Yes. Uh, so if you wanna, if you wanna learn how to do that, you should pay close atten attention and take notes. Yes. After and make sure all, it's uh, Dragon Age, so we need to kill the dragon. Yeah. Yeah. And don't blink because once the dragon actually shows up, it's uh, it'll go away again quite fast. Yeah. Let's just say it involves Varric, a shotgun, <laughs> and a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> I think this whole speedrun pretty much just involves. Uh, yeah. Varric. And yeah. a shotgun, yeah. <laughs> so here we go like to the altar of Mifal the normal way, which is just, you know, it's at this point in the quest you're supposed to go there. Mm. And um, yeah, you're going to start the end of the game. It's here. We are it's here. here. Yes. It is here. Feel it as well. It's true. Are you sure? There aren't any runes in these parts. I'm One sure of the first can. times that we're going to see a dragon. Um, also, this this upcoming I forgot to quick save, so now everything has to go fine. Otherwise, Ooh. I have to load from the auto save, which is which is also fine. It's just a bit slower. <laughs> no, it's impossible. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Um, you have a thing called focus in this game as well. You can see that yellow bar that I have. Um, why am I doing that? Sure. No, that did not work. So um, let me reload that because I need my focus. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of important. Think of the focus as like a, an ultimate bar in like a fighter game. And Quick save this time. Yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I was thinking about it. I was literally like, okay, pick it up there. This time, <laughs> so yeah, spam it, the button. It, it takes a long time to load, and we don't want that. There you go. This time, you will it'll be fine. First try, let's go. <laughs> First try. First try every time. <laughs> yeah, the the other one was just warm up. Yeah. The, that was the actual attempt. The... Alright, so I'm just gonna stealth real quick. Gonna head up a bit closer, that way he doesn't aggro me. Um and I'm gonna be spamming. Ooh. Ooh. That was That's okay, he died. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There we go. And dragon's the, dead. <laughs> some something bugged right. out. That was nice. That's how you kill a dragon. <laughs> yeah. It's not the only dragon we'll kill, though. I have my dragon. That was a scary and start, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it was very scary. It was, uh, but I kept my focus, so you did. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> so now uh, we've killed this dragon, so now we can head back to Skyhold, and now we're going to head into the final mission of the game. Just, you know, got to do some walking. Got to see Skyhold uh, for the last time while it's still dark and gloomy. It's still going to be dark and gloomy when I finish the game as well. Um, but <laughs> yeah, we're going to fix it up in this. No, they, they, they didn't bother. They knew we were going to be so fast, right? Yeah. Yeah, we uh, knew they didn't need, we, we didn't need them, really. We're we running, saving the world. We just needed <laughs> somewhere to, to, you know, go to the war table together. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, summoning the War Council. Doom upon all the world is what the final mission is called. What a cheery name. Right? And then it's some dialogue, and then 
we're gonna get to kill the final boss. So, what spoiler at this point, if you don't know who the final boss is, um, you're about to find out real quick. <laughs> yeah, he's a big red dude. That's how it's called, right? Totally. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. With some crystals, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes crystals. It's very, like, fashion forward. Oh, yeah. I mean, his fashion sense is above all else, right? <laughs> mm, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Oh, Darth Vader, no, you just a bit off. A dragon, how clever of you. It will avail you nothing. Uh, you will fall as a warning to those who oppose my divine. All right. So again, I did the focus glitch on him here too, just to kill him as, as fast as possible. Now I don't need to do the focus glitch anymore. Now I can just directly go for it. Because uh, now we're just killing this dragon. Yeah, again. And oh, fun. the dragon actually vanishes. <laughs> yeah, it actually evaporates. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now we now we do the fun thing. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. we're doing the, the meme thing again. Yeah. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Of cool. course we are. And time's uh, coming up, by the way. Yeah. 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 yeah very soon. Very soon. Uh, yeah, this is the <laughs> this is the final boss. Um, an actually final encounter this time. I'm gonna set it up up here, so that you can get all of the action that the you want. Oh, this is not good RNG. Oh. I kind of have to improvise a bit. Oh god. Oh, did he freeze? What up? is he doing? Yeah, yeah, he does that sometimes. That's not gonna work. Let's Come on. Go. I had to teleport uh. back. Let's let's retry that. All I have right. some time. Yeah, yeah, you do. And it's it's, it's worth a cool. Seeing. It's 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 worth seeing. It's worth seeing. It's worth seeing. <laughs> So let's get back up there. Yeah. <laughs> and Sorry, you'll go to bed soon. <laughs> you, you have 15 minutes. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Almost done. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is the last encounter, so we, we'll be fine. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, once we get the kill, it's time. So we do, we're just trying to and do it in a funny, funny way. funny. You don't uh, get it. <laughs> it's going to be worth it. It's a funny and fast way. Of course All right. it's worth it. All right. Oh, oh yeah, we got yeah. it. There you go. There he goes. Bye. And it's dead. Time. And well, time oh, is sorry. yeah. After the black screen. Oh, that's what it was. There. Now it's yeah. yeah. But I got a bit too excited. It's cl close enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're done. That's the run. Whoa. So, I was yeah. cheering. We can now go to bed. Woo. <laughs> yeah. What happens is uh, Corypheus gets stuck in the attack animation. Yeah. And then you teleport back, and uh, Corypheus gets flung into a death field, and you just blows up. And it's this amazing. Is, this is technically an orb, you know. I mean, fine. technically, it's, it's absolutely an orb. It's actually called the orb. Exactly. It, what do you yeah, mean, yeah. technically? <laughs> I mean, it's like, you know. Actually, I think if we, if we skip through some kind Yeah, it uh, says the orb <laughs> uh, right after it. Uh, uh, it's going to be a nice text at the top that says the orb. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, shoutouts? Yeah, shoutouts. Go for it. Uh, Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> follow me on uh, twitch.tv slash Lamura. That would be uh, super cool and awesome of you guys. Uh, otherwise, shout outs to my commentators for providing commentary with me today. It was really great having you. Yes. Great being here. It was great being here. It was a, it's, it's, it's a very fun run. Um, and uh, of course, the donation reader. And oh. tech. And, and tech, tech, that's true. Well. Thank you very much. And also to our screener who's sitting over in stream one. Oh, uh, poor guy. Oh, the whole team is here Everyone. for the night shift. Yeah. And just one last mention. Uh, speedrun, uh, the BioWare speedrunning community. Yes. Uh, take any game on speedrun.com, find the Discord link, uh, join us, and play these games, speedrun these games, because they're all fun. They're all bro broken in some way. And we would love to have more people. Actual last mention, no, I'm sorry, but you're not only running this. Oh, oh no. no, 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 I'm not. <laughs> you, you can see me again tomorrow on stream one, uh, playing It Takes Two with Cypher. Uh, oh, that's with, be great. With in-person developer commentary, which I'm super excited about. Yeah, so, so follow him and then tune in for ESA again tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, every day of the week. Of course, it, yeah. But. You're forced to be here. <laughs> keep showing up. Keep donating to Alzheimer's Get back to stream then. one right now. Yeah. Don't, don't sleep. Don't sleep. Yeah. Sleep is for the week. I mean, I think all we're right. all going to bed, aren't we? <laughs> Shh. Well, I mean, there's control know. on stream one. There is control over on stream one. Yeah. And you know what? I think we might take all of our friends here at stream two over to stream one now. Let's so do it. hold on. Because we will you know, be raiding stream one. Just fun fact. Yes. He also runs control. Brilliant. Well, 
Oh, you uh, sure. A, a long time ago, but yes, yes. I have ran it before. That's Let, good. Let's yeah. go ahead and control. Let's, race, Let's stream. Set up the race. Let's go. We're going to head straight over here.